When I was in ninth grade, I went out with some friends and went to their house and lived on a big piece of property. And they had woods in the backyard. And this guy had shotguns. And we all grabbed a shotgun. We were all excited. All this testosterone in this young, immature body. I had never gone out firing before. I had done some range shooting once or twice. That was it. But here I have a shotgun, no supervision, fully loaded, safety's off, and we're walking out in the woods because we wanted to go shoot stuff. That's how we put it. We're walking. I'm in the middle. I've got someone on my right, a friend on my right, and a friend on my left. And we're walking along, and this pheasant jumps up to my left, about 10 yards away, and I just reacted. Didn't even think about it. I just reacted. I lifted that shotgun, swung it around to my left, and pulled the trigger. Now, I didn't hit the pheasant. Thank God I didn't hit the pheasant. But even more importantly, my friend who was on my left, a step in front of me, had to dive onto the ground because I almost blew him in half. Now, if he hadn't reacted faster than I had reacted, he wouldn't be here today and I wouldn't be here speaking to you because I'd still be in prison for manslaughter. I was foolish. I was ignorant. I was young and dumb. We were just going out to shoot stuff. We were trigger happy. And I see this a lot in society today. We're really trigger happy, except our weapons are our mouths. And we are getting offended and trigger happy. And that's what trigger happy means. We're, we're offended and we're using our mouths to verbally attack people. We're starting wars with our words. And we're doing it because we seem to wake up offended in a state of offense. We're, because we're shallow and insensitive on some things. Because someone else has a different opinion than me. Someone else believes something different than me, and therefore, I have to get out and debate it and argue it and put my point across, because I want to crush them into silence, because how dare they speak about something that I don't agree with. And I see this happening all too much, especially on social media. We're starting wars with our words. We're trigger happy. We are offended, and we're going off half cocked every single day. We're going out to shoot stuff, just like I did in ninth grade with a shotgun. And we're doing it, and we're immature. We're allowing our feelings to dominate ourselves, and we are very reactionary out there. And we're shooting stuff. The problem is, these are people who should be our friends that we should be connecting to and not dividing. Here's the thing. Let's stop it. If you want to create peace, then stop Take your finger off the trigger and put the safety on your mouth. You, we don't have to debate and argue with everybody. Just walk away. They're not trying to bully you. They're not trying to pressure you. Just walk away from it. We keep continuing to prolong and start wars. We've become an endless war society with our mouths. We, we're blaming politicians for putting us in endless wars, but yet you and I are walking around with a gun fully loaded, which is our mouths, and we're going off half-cocked, trigger-happy, because we're offended at stuff. Let's put a safety on our mouths. Let's stop it. You want to create peace in your life? You want to have peace? Stop getting involved in the debates and arguing with people that don't believe the way you do. Let them go. Whether it's right or wrong doesn't matter. We don't decide that. Put a safety on it and watch how much peace starts to permeate your life. My name is Ed Carcary and I'd love to connect with you. You can find me on LinkedIn or on my website at edcarcary.com. Find your passion. Find your life.